Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Shaw. I'm the chairman of the Sean Cliff Trust. Thank you for joining me uh, tonight. Um, this is a truly unique event, one that we've never done before. Um, I don't think it's ever been done before anywhere, really. And it is all thanks to Alan, who contacted me a few weeks ago and asked for our help. Um, obviously, um, Alan's told me the story about Neil, told me a lot about him, um, local lad uh, from Margate, and, and reading your post, obviously he, he started off at Shawncliffe, so it's even a, a, another great honour to, to be able to support Alan and all his friends and family who are watching tonight, um, the least we do. Uh, just quickly about the Shawcliffe Trust, we're a small heritage charity based down in Folkestone and we're trying to save uh, Shawncliffe and, and its heritage and obviously tell the story of the men who served there and who still remain at Shawncliffe today. Um, and so when Alan contacted us and told us that, obviously during the crisis uh, that we're all going through at the moment, um, that he can't get down there. And he said, well, can you just get a photograph um, of his headstone? And we said, that's the least we could do. Um, as chairman of the trust, I'm known for crazy ideas, and I thought it'd be really nice to um, do a little bit more than that. So if you have a look at the pictures on the left, that is the photograph of Neil's headstone today. We put a new cross dedicated to him uh, planted today by Viv Kenny, who is our trustee for local communities. She lives at Shawncliffe. She's an absolute heritage hero. She is fantastic. Viv, I cannot thank you enough for doing that. Um, so we pay our respects today um, on your behalf, basically. Um, again, seeing this, seeing this, this, this situation, um, it's the least we could do. Um, I want to tell you a bit more about what you're looking at. Right in front of you, the lantern in front of you is our special commemorative lantern called Tommy. Uh, this was created in 2018 to mark the end of uh, First World War. And it actually is the special lantern that is used to carry the Olympic flame around the world. Well, we commissioned this one specially to bring the flame from Mons Cathedral back to Shawncliffe for the uh, end of World War One, and to mark the return of all those men who could not return to Shawncliffe and who are still buried in the Western Front. Tommy is now used for commemorations and memorials and even though it belongs to the Trust it is there for all communities, all regiments and friends to utilise and, and uh, uh, used for support and, and in whichever way we can to help local communities and families. Um, the photograph to the right, I love this photograph, I mean what a great photograph of Neil, I love the tash and I've seen some of the, um, Alan sent me a great photograph of them when they're fencing and I've heard about the story of fencing, uh, hilarious. Um, Never volunteer for anyone. Everybody knows that. But anyway, um, fantastic photograph of him. Um, so this is this is what we're planning to do. I, I'm going to say a few words today, um, just on your behalf. Um, the cross we planted today, next to Neil's headstone. Just as you can see, there's a new poppy there. Um, Alan asked for a few words, and he said. Um, Neil always had a natural ability to make anyone laugh. A kind, considerate person who was a good soldier, a natural in sport of fencing. He is and always will be forever in our hearts. That was what Viv wrote on that cross for Neil and for you today. Um, it's an auspicious day, as we all know, St George's Day. It's also Shakespeare's birthday. I'm just going to, uh, I found a piece which I think defines, um, defines the brotherhood that you, you feel. 
Henry V, Act 4, Scene 3, The Eve of the Battle of Agincourt. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes home safe will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbours and say, tomorrow is St Crispian. Then he will strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispian's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he'll remember, with advantages, what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. The story shall a good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispin shall ne'er go by, for this day to the ending of the world. For we in it shall be remembered, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accused that they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap. While any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. I'm now going to have a minute of reflection for yourselves and for Neil. Thank you. I'm going to read uh, a poem that um, you're probably familiar with, but normally just a few lines of it. Um, it's by Lawrence Binion. It's called For the Fallen. With proud thanksgiving, a mother for her children. England mourns for her dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh they were, spirit of her spirit. Fallen in the cause of the free. Solemn the drum thrill. Death august and royal. Sing sorrow up into a mortal spheres. There is music in the midst of desolation and glory that shines upon our tears. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Well, again, I would just like to say thank you to Alan for contacting us. The job of the trust, um, I mean, is is to tell that story. Um, when we first started this, I spoke to a chap who runs a museum in France, in Arras, and he said something very profound to us, and it's how we view the stories that we as the gatekeepers that Sean could feel we are, um, and how we view them to tell them, which is, the chap in France said to me, he said, Chris, you were very lucky at Shawncliffe. 
you had them when they were alive. We in France and Belgium only have them when they're dead. And even though Neil is still with us, we always talk about their life with them as young men, as they have done at Sean Cliff since 1790s. Um, obviously, the, the legendary 95th Sharps rifles were there, 1803. Um, the buffs were there um, since that time as well. There to defend Sean Cliff and Kent and England from Napoleon. It's an amazing place. We love telling the stories of the individuals because it makes the history and the heritage come alive. It is, it is still happening to this day. The way that Alan spoke to me about Neil, about their, their time together, he's still with us, he's still with you. Um, that's how the trust does. Obviously, we're definitely trying to get a place down there, Taylor Wimpy have uh, bought up, they've got the land and they've got the uh, barracks and we're trying to get a building off them so we can build a museum and tell the story of young men such as Neil, right from the Northern Bridge, three VCs that are at Shilpith, members of the Chinese Labour Corps, the men and women who served at Shilpith over the Victorian period and obviously um, the story of Sir John Moore. It's nice to hear when you look at some of the information I looked into that how much uh, there was a defensive. It was more mindful of, it was my sport at school as well. So um, I just want to keep the knowledge about that. And uh, I hear he's, he was an absolute natural, um, which I can say I wasn't. Um, I was too impressed with Errol Flynn and a lot of rushing around, but actually the came to competition was absolutely amazing. It sounds like a real star, an absolute star. I'm going to finish off with um, a unique passage, basically, um, that came to Shorten's Trust um, by accident. Everything that we do at the Trust, we, my involvement with trust is, is, I'll be honest, is ruled by through faith and destiny. Um, I was never meant to be at Sean Cliff. I'm just a civic civvy. I found it by chance and through a passion sort for history. And um, a few years ago, um, on eBay, there was a local lady who was selling the uh, bits and pieces of a local man who served at Sean Cliff, the Machine Gun Corps, in number one, and she was selling off his table. Um, and I did want it to go to collectors, uh, collectors sort of covered in drawer, and so we saved it for the trust and for posterity and for the local people. And in the back of the paper, and I'm not sure if yours is still the same, um, the last page is your will and testament. And when I went to go and read it, he actually didn't write out the will, he wrote a poem. And it's called A Perfect Day. Um, I'm going to read it to you now. So this was written by a guy called Harry Smith, a machine gun corps from Jordan, local man from Dimchurch. This is what he wanted to say. Whilst he was in the trenches in his last moment. Called Perfect Day. When you come to the end of a perfect day and you sit alone with your court, while the chimes ring out on a carol day, the joy that the day is brought. You think what the end of a perfect day can mean to a tired heart. When the sun goes down with a flaming ray, and the dear heart has to part. But this is the end of a perfect day, near the end of a journey too. But it leaves a thought that is big and strong, with a wish that is kind and true. The memory has painted this perfect day, with colours that never fade, and we find at the end of a perfect day, the soul of a friend we've made. I would like to dedicate this evening to Private Neil Clark, 246261 2, 4, 6, 2, 6, 1, 5, 4, 2, 8, 100, 6, 100, 2, 3, His friends remember him to this day. 
would like to thank Alan, I'd like to thank Viv, and I'd like to thank all of you for joining us tonight. Um, we're going to finish off with one last song, and it is of a perfect band. Young Harry Smith, and he wrote it in his will, his last will and testament. And actually, it was a song, Pop Girl of the Day. Thank you, Alan, again. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I hope uh, you find it uh, reflective. I hope you've enjoyed listening to us, and I hope we've done you and Neil proud. Thank you very much. Tommy will stay lit for 24 hours, and I'll keep this broadcast on for a few minutes longer. Thank you again for joining us all. We look forward to you coming down to Shulgriff look to meeting you all and we'd love to show you around the place. God bless you all. Have a good evening. Thank you.